this week's Get Ready With Me. Today we're trying some new products. Um, I got a couple things in from, and I'm really excited to try them, from ColourPop. I do have the Jelly Mud Shadows, all of them from the um, Villains Collection. We're going to swatch those in another video. I also got a bunch of Elf stuff in. Again, we're going to look at that in another video. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to play with these, these this palette that I got from their Springtime Collection. And I got two Jelly Shadows and two... I'll show you the other one, and two lipsticks. Um, this is their Sweet Talk Spring Collection. Oh my gosh, I think this is the most gorgeous packaging ever. You almost just want to save the box because it's so stunning, but we are opening it. And the shadows in it are no different. They're beautiful. Again, I'm going to do a full swatch video, but I'm going to do that in a different video. Uh, we are also going to... Um, did I just get something on my face? Okay. So... Anyway, we're going to swatch all of these. Let me take the paper off. Wait till you see this. But we are going to play with these. Um, look at these shadows. Let me just fill the screen up with them. They are stunning. So you've got some shimmers in there, and then you've got some pressed glitters. I'm assuming, I think one of these is one of their bounce formulas. They're um, in a pan, and I think it's this one. Um, see, that's called Side to Side. They do have the names on them. They do have, here's, it doesn't have a mirror, but it does say ColourPop, you're pretty. It's beautiful on the inside. It's beautiful on the outside. And it is a magnetic closure called Sweet Talk. And these are pressed, is the pressed powders. And then, um, you, I mean, you've just got some shades. So I'm so excited to kind of play and get in this. We do have two Jelly Pop that came with us. This entire set I'm showing you, by the way, was $40. Let me grab the other one. So for $40, you've got the two jelly shadows, the um, palette, and then you also got two lipsticks. So let's get into these. So this one is, um, let's see, this one is called Close to You, and they come like this. And you can kind of see the color looks sort of like a rose gold. So let's, they do come with a little plastic applicator on the top just so that you protect it. And usually there's a ton of the stuff on it. Yeah, see, just kind of rub that off as much as we can. I mean, there's still so much on here that I could use, but there it is. And it's stunning. We may play with this one today, depending. I really don't know. Oh, a little bit came off. I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you guys. I really don't know what the, um, I got a big lump of it, sorry. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. I guess since we're here, we'll go ahead and swatch the, the purple Jelly Butt Shadow as well. Um, I don't know the eye look I'm doing today, so that's some, you know, that's, I'm just kind of coming in, we're gonna play, and we'll just see what develops. This one's called Big Ego. It looks like my tea is ready. So here we are, and it looks like a foiled lavender. I'm excited to see what this one looks like too. I've got some ideas for like a blue and um, blue and purple kind of a look. Let's see if I got enough. And this is like a bouncy like formula. So there it is. All right, let me get a little bit on my finger and come back over here. Watch this out. So that is actually a little bit lighter than I thought. Oh, but it's got a pretty shift. Look at that, guys. Both of these do when the light hits it. Oh, those are going to be so fun. And they dry down, because I tried one last night. They dry down like, like I don't think they're going to move off your eyes once they dry. Like you're physically going to have to remove them to get them off. So those are the two Jelly Mutt Shadows. <clears throat> They're still wet, so I can get them off <laughs> right now. All right. Then we also have two lipsticks in here that came in this collection. We have Spring Roll and Tea Time. And I'll go ahead and swatch these two because I don't know which one I'm going to use today. It'll depend what I end up doing with my eyes. But look at how adorable, just look at how adorable the packaging is for this. They're both exactly the same. I mean, 
Can you even? They're so cute. Okay, so let's let's open this one, the Tea Time. And they this is sort of ColourPop's new signature, what they've been doing. They've got these little gold and then little stars on. I don't know if you can see the stars, but there are. Yeah, yeah you can see them. There are little stars on there. So here we are. Here's the color. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. See, look at the glitter, all the glitter that remains. Nice, beautiful, rich, creamy. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Okay, so that's called Tea Time. I can see me wearing that one a lot. And then this one's called Spring Roll. And then I'm going to take a break and get my tea and clean my area up so we can get getting the clothes on. So this looks like kind of like a nude color. Okay, so it complements the ones just darker than the other one. This one's more of a rose. Well, this is like a deep mauve -y, kind of a more leans more towards red. This has got more of the um, kind of a corally color in it. All right, so fun, fun. I think I like the darker color better. So I'm hoping that that's the one we're going to play with today. I don't have any. I'm going to get a wet wipey out of here. I didn't like these wet, white, wet wipes, so I just use them for like swatches for you guys. These are like, uh, is that the last one in here? There's one more. These are the Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes by Clean and Clear. Not, or, yeah, Clean and Clear. These, I don't like how they work. Um, they're very harsh on my skin, I found. So they do remove the makeup, but you got to scrub. All right, so I'm going to clean my face up a little bit. We're going to get some tea, and we're going to get putting our face on. Also, we'll be using the cheek palette today that I got yesterday called Blush My Cheeky Palette, and this is by J-Cat, and it has some stunning, stunning blush colors that actually go very well with this spring collection from ColourPop. So hold on to your horses, go grab a cup of tea or coffee or beverage of choice, stick around a while, I'll be right back and we'll be putting makeup on. Okay, we're gonna start with the eyes. I did put the Milk Makeup Primer on and you've gotta wait like a minute because it, it's real sticky and tacky. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our eyes. What I'm doing is um, I'm gonna put the e.l.f. Line and define eye tape on. I cut these in half. Now they're only two dollars to get. I just cut where the E and the L are, so you can have half for each eye. Um, if you want like a little bit more of a clean line for your eyes, so you don't go over. That way we can really play and have some fun and hopefully have a good line for our eyes. And hopefully I do it the right way and don't. Sometimes I make them like crooked, or I make them uneven so I kind of put them kind of towards the edge of my eyebrows there now if I just pull up we can lift the whole eye area okay so let's get started and I am going to be using a different um, foundation today that we're going to try out this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 wear foundation with sunscreen and bought broad spectrum SPF 25 and this is in the color well what color are you I have your lot number 410 doesn't have a color it's just 410 so we're gonna put that on in a minute and I am going to for that be using some new brushes that we got from Morphe for those but I am gonna go ahead and get my Go ahead and get our eyebrow brushes out that we're using today. That's a lip brush. Oh, we only really got one. We got one brush for our eyes, but I have other ones down here. So let's just get into this palette, shall we? So let's get a fluffer, clean it off. All right, and I did want to um, answer a couple of questions, the assumption questions that we didn't get to, so we'll do that while we're doing this. Uh, assumed I'm not a morning person and don't like to be spoken to until I've had my coffee. I thought this was a funny one. Um, actually, I am a morning person. I'm not a late night person. Um, all right, so let me just look at this and see what we're going to do. I'm going to go all over the lid with this, and then I think we're going to go into this shade here. So this light shade's called Catch Me, and then Dream Maker is this one over here. So that's what we're gonna, how we're going to start. Um, so actually, yeah, I, I actually get up really early. 
I wish I could sleep in. I really do wish that I could sleep in and kind of be a little bit more of a, you know, late night owl, but I just am not. I'm in bed every night by 9.30, 10 o'clock, and I'm up every morning by 5.30, 6 o'clock. On the days I sleep in, I wake up at 6.45, and for me, that's sleeping in. However, I am, I really am, there we go, we got a good base now. I really am um, a morning person. I love mornings. I love, I love people. A little bit of kickback out of that one color. I don't care as long. Now I'm picking up with the same brush since that one was such a light color. Tapping off and we're going to go in and just do, build a, a little bit of color here up in the crease. So I do have a little bit of a droopy lid. So I go above my natural crease. You guys might notice that my natural crease is down, down in here. Okay. I go above it with the color and I do this a lot with my eyes open so that I can see what we're doing. I am bringing it all the way, the color all the way down. I want to make sure that when my eyes open and it, here's regular open, here's what I was doing. So regular open, I can see that color. That's, that's what I'm looking for. God, it's so pretty. This is the color dream maker. And we are going to definitely do a glitter topper or we'll do the jelly mud shadow, one of the two. I don't know yet. But they're blending, it's blending very, very, very smooth. All right, I got this little buffing brush. I'm just going to sort of buff out this top part here near my brow. Okay, so here's our starting point. So bright and pretty. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller, this is a blending brush. The, the, these ones that I'm using just came from um, Marshalls. They were like the Paris Hilton brushes or something. So I am gonna go in with this darker shade down here. Um, that is called I see me, I see why am I. That's, it's just initials. And I'm going to pat that in on the edge here and just bring it over just a little bit. I'm not gonna actually bring this over the full amount. All right, so while we're doing this, we'll read another question. I'm a compulsive shopper and I use, use it as therapy or I shop when I'm stressed. How did you know? Yes. Um, that's not always been the case for me. Like if I need to pare down, like if money is tight, I can, I can control myself. I also am good at saving um, when I want to, but I have not been good in recent months with my financials. Um, you know, I started getting into the makeup and the makeup is like super addicting. You can get in trouble with makeup because it seems like there's like a new launch every two seconds, a new palette and you like see it and you see somebody do a review and you're like, oh my God, I want that. I have to have that. So, so it's really hard with makeup. There's no way for you to like really keep up with makeup or like control. You, you just got to control yourself. I mean, that's, that's just what it comes out to. All right. And I'm just going to pull what I can into the actual crease of my eye here, whatever's left on the brush. I'm going to do the same thing over here because I want it darker on the outside. All right. So I like how this is looking. It's extremely bright, extremely bright. We have good, nice white light in here today. So just natural light because it's gorgeous out and sunny out and later in the day than I normally do this. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna start to think about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually deepen up the corner a little bit more with this Feel Free color, which is kind of like a burgundy. And I'm just gonna, again, just sort of tap it in and just deepen for some depth. And this one I'm not gonna go all the way over with. I'm gonna keep that right sort of in the corner section of my eye. Just like the outer V, that's what we're doing. So we're just layering the colors until we get the color we want, right? These colors blend beautifully together I think this would be a great palette to have alone or with another 
with another palette. All right, I'm taking a clean blender. This is the Morphe R34, and I am just gonna blend those together just to have no harsh lines, and this tape is actually really sticky and starting to aggravate my skin. Okay, so I'm happy with, so far, how that's turning out. So now, kiddos, I'm gonna take a flat brush. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take Meadow all over the top lid, and then I'm gonna come in after that with a, um, and I'm just putting a very light shed light in here. Because I don't know how opaque the glitters are in here. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put the Jelly Mutt shadow over it, and then we'll put one of the glitter shades after that dries. So there it is, you could just leave it like that, line it, eyeshadow, be done. Actually, after I take these off, I'll do the under ash, underlying, under eyelash, goodness. All right, so let's get that jelly shadow that's in that pretty pink. And I'm gonna spray my flat brush with my e.l.f. priming spray, okay. I don't think you need to with this, but I'm going to. And then we're, we're gonna start patting in this jelly shadow. Oh my God, I'm just gonna take it right off the lid because there's so much on the lid here. Look at that. And we are going to go in right here. Oh my God. Oh, can you guys see? Can you just see? Oh my gosh. Oh God, that's stunning, all right. So the only thing I'm gonna do real quick though is take the blender brush that I got and just blend where the corners are there of the glitter because it's kind of looking a little funny where the glitter is hitting everything else. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Oh, yes, yes, girl. All right, so let's do the other eye. And that we're going to let that dry. You guys should be able to see this okay. Oh, God, it's so beautiful, guys. It's like gorgeous. And then I'll probably darken, like, right here where I am with the again, too. There's a little, like, I feel like there we go. Like, Oh, just the way the light's hitting it. It's good, it's good. It's so pretty. God, you can play with these jelly shadows literally all day. They're just so gorgeous. They like transform your entire, your entire look. There we are. I mean, really? That's covered up. But when I look up, it looks like it's like, it's showing funny, but it's actually covered in beautiful. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna let that dry. While we're letting that dry, um, I'm gonna take this off and go ahead and put, start putting my foundation on. Uh, look at that, you get a nice crisp line if you want that. I'm actually gonna blend that out. <clears throat> But it, at least it gives you a it gives you a nice little base, so you're not making a huge mess. So I'm just trying to take away the harsh line. It's still there on this side. It's okay. It's okay. We got foundation coming in. All right, and this is ready to go. So I am going to use the new. Um, we're gonna try this instead of a blue beauty blender. This is brand new, so give it a minute here. I don't know, it's thin. So we're gonna see how this operates. All right, it's a little bit light. I was wondering about that, if it was gonna be too light for my skin. It's okay, we'll make it work with bronzer. It's hard to, to buy these. You never know when you look in the bottle. I feel like unless you test it, you really don't know if it's a good color or not for your skin. So down here. 
I got discoloration down there. This is supposed to wear for 24 hours. I've actually heard really good things about it. So, we'll see. I'm gonna be doing some planting today. I still don't feel good. Um, my back is really funny. It, it just hurts. Um, I'll probably end up taking my bra off again halfway through the day, but. <laughs> You know what? I took a shower today, and I was wondering if the pain, like the shower hitting me, was going to hurt, and it didn't. That didn't hurt. I thought for sure that was going to hurt me, and it didn't. All right, so I gave some pretty good coverage. I have like a little spot here that it didn't fully cover, which I'll get that with concealer. I think I have my tart concealer so I'll get that I think that's just like a little spot I don't know what that is maybe it's an age spot I don't know my first age spot so we'll come in just put a little bit I don't like to do a lot of concealer under my eyes I just don't um, I don't think that it's necessary at women my age to be packing on the concealer and you know girls I think it's I, I actually think that it, it is adds to your wrinkles even more but you might want like some brightness under your eye I know a lot of people have dark dark eye circles I don't I don't have I don't get that so um, if I use it it is usually just to take care of some spots but um, it does sit I feel like it sits in your fine line so I I try to keep it like if you notice I'm kind of trying to put it a little bit lower and not right in my fine line area You use it to brighten up where you need it to, but, and you can use your skin, you can warm it with your skin also and sort of press it into your skin, and I think that helps too. All right, so let's keep moving. So I've got some translu or some bronzer. This is the Tarte stuff. Um, I do have like a, you know what I've been using recently is the one that came in our Cover X FX. And I really like that color. It's a nice, like, kind of, like, warm chocolatey color, but it's light chocolate. And I really, really, really have been liking that. So I've been using that more than I've been using this tart. Um, but, but I didn't want to bring a whole other palette downstairs, so. And again, like, I'm trying to, like, keep my forehead relaxed while I'm doing this so that it's not settling into my, my wrinkles on my forehead. Because I do have, you know, I have, I think I have okay skin, but it... It's aging, you know, I'm 44 years old, um, but I can't really complain because I've seen other people with oops, other people who are much older or younger than me and have way worse wrinkles. I've seen um, girls that are one or two years or right around the same age and their skin's worse. So I guess I'm OK, blessed. So I'm not going to complain about my wrinkles. They're there. They are what they are. And I am who I am. Sam, I am right. So, if anybody's here looking for a flawless, perfect, perfect application of everything, I am not a makeup tutorial person. I am not a makeup expert. I play with makeup. I have fun. That's why I sort of do the get readies with me. And if it looks good at the end of this all, fantastic. fantastic. I hope that's what it does, but I'm by no means trying to tr teach anybody how to do makeup. Um, if you do learn something from me, from what I'm doing, great. If it works for you, great. But I think makeup is just like art. You know, you just do what works and for each individual person. I'm going in with the same darker shade at the bottom just to line my lashes. But I do think it's art. I think it is absolutely art. It's um, something that you can do, uh, you can play and have fun with. And nobody can tell you it's wrong. The way you do it. The way you do it is the way you do it, the way you're comfortable. You're, it's your face. you got to wear it. So nobody's going to tell you that the way you're doing it is wrong. All right. We're just going to smooth that out a little bit. Smooth it out and up. This one especially seems to be 
a little bit darker. Okay, that's where we're, where we're at right now. And then, do I have a little brush? Do I have a little brush? Hmm. I got this little dime. All right, so... Actually, I'm gonna take my flat brush again. If I can find it. All right, I'm gonna take the prima donna of this glitter and put it in my inner corner. And I might bring it... I might bring it also to the lower lash line. We'll see. You got to be careful with this. I don't know if this prima donna is actually eye safe. Um, these, this is chunkier glitter, so I'm bringing it down. You want to be very careful not to get this glitter. See how I just went down? Not to get this glitter in your eyes. Okay. Cause this is the kind that could hurt you. This is the kind that could scratch your cornea. And I and I bet you they they don't call this. I'm going to show you it, but the, I'm sure that this is not. It's a use at your own risk. This is a. These are big chunks of glitter. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this Garden Date, which is a shimmer and sort of blend that part. Oh, that's creamy and nice. Ooh, we're gonna have to play with this shade some more. That is beautiful. And it's bouncy and it's really nice. So this shade, I'll do swatches for you guys with every shade so you can see them all, but whew, that's pretty. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna line my eyes and I got some fun blush to put on. So we're gonna do that. I am going to put a little bit of liner on the top, and I have um, the NARS. I got some, it's, I don't really know where I got it, actually. Um, let me show you guys. It's the NARS, I think it's by NARS, yeah, it's the NARS Climax, which is a mess. I got to clean that up. Um, and I don't really, like I said, know where this came from, so, but we're going to play with this today and put this on as our, um, our mascara today. All right. All right. Hold on. I'm going to finish my eyes. I'll be back and then we'll do our cheeks. Okay. So there is the finished look. Um, with the, what I did with my liner is I just took the liner. This was the Almay liner and went in with it. But then one of my liners had a smudger on the end of it. This one. This was, um, Sex Kitten. And I just smudged. Oop. There we go. And I just smudged it to give it not so harsh. And then the mascara did really good. Um, it lengthened everything. Looks nice. So, all right. So now we're going to play with this other blush that came in. This is the, by J Cat Beauty. And I had swatched this in a video you guys haven't seen yet. Mm, you'll probably see that before this one goes up. But it has a blush in it that is sort of like a this one that is, I'll, I'll swatch it again, that is sort of like a, um, like the color Orgasm by NARS. Oh my God. Like, right? That is stunning. So we're going to, we're going to use that today. I'm actually a little nervous because it's so pigmented. So I'm just going to like tap my brush in and then tap it off and see what, what, what color emerges here. Like, I feel like that would be great on the eyes too. Oh yeah, see that's really pigmented, guys. So you don't need a lot of that. And that's me just I did just brushed it in. Oh god, that's so beautiful. And it has a sheen to it. It has a nice sheen to it. I'm just gonna pop it kind of all over, and give myself a glow. Yeah. Okay, that's gorgeous. That performed beautifully. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the lipsticks. And I think I liked, was it tea time I liked? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, 
All right. Missed the whole corner there. I should have lined my lips. I forgot. It's okay. Uh, and there we are. That's gorgeous. Ugh, I love it. Okay. I love it. I don't know if I have a, like a gloss or not to put over it, but you don't actually need it. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. And then I have on for jewelry today. I still have the same little necklace. These are the matching earrings. These came from Roxbox. I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep them or not, but they're really, really pretty, aren't they? And then I have my, um, uh, mix it. No, this was from Stitch Fix. And, um, I just have a tank on today and it's got gray and like corals in it and my little cardigan and the whole look is cohesive and works together so we're just going to spray now and we're done all right and that is the makeup mist and set by elf i got so much elf stuff to show you too so that's today's get ready with me guys i hope you enjoyed it um i'll try to link the products below especially like the ColourPop stuff and i think i have something for like either five dollars off or five percent off your order with ColourPop. i've got something for you so i'll put that down below so you can go get it but this set was forty dollars so definitely you know you can get the whole entire set that i have and recreate this look and um, you'll get the two lipstick, the two jelly shadows, and the entire lip or eye, eye palette for $40. And then I think I have, a, like I think I said, I have a discount for you. So maybe you can get it for 35 bucks or whatever. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys all soon. I got so excited about how bright and sunny and shiny this looked. I forgot to do my highlighter and my brows. So I just quickly did my brows. So, you know, I've been using this. This is their the Tarte Arc Architect Brow Pencil in Gel. I don't know if it tells me what color. These things are only good for six months, but I've been using them. This one I think is close to being done. I was trying to see if I could find the color I had. Um, no, I have no idea, but it's kind of dark, so it's okay. It's all right, but I forgot to use my highlighter. The only highlighter I have down, actually, this blush has a shimmer to it, so you don't have to. And also, I wanted to come in kind of close. Um, so here you can see my pore lines. Um, those are reduced from what I had without using the milk makeup. So when I, so this does fill in your pores. I've actually had that a, a quite a bit worse let down in there. So that that's working. Um, you just gotta make sure when you use that milk makeup that you let it dry. Um, so anyway, I have the um, Blossom Glow. This is just the highlight from um, Wet n Wild, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. Um, I want to get, there's a pink one, and I just saw, I just saw a review, and she used the, the, it's Blossom something, Bloom, Bloom Blossom, and she used it, and it was stunning, and it was good, great for, like, a fair skin tone, so I do want to, uh, grab that one, but this was the only option I had when I was at the store, so, is that coming up? Yeah, it's just not showing you guys very well there. There we go. And I'm also going to put this right here, but we're going to get a different brush for that. We're going to use that contour brush, and we're just going to go pop this. I got so excited about what I was doing, I didn't finish my makeup. Goodness gracious. So I have to tell you guys, too, I went outside to show Robert. I said, Robert, look at how beautiful my eye look came out today. And I looked, he goes, oh yeah, it's shiny. <laughs> he has no clue. And my daughter asked um, where I was earlier, and he goes, she's upstairs getting ready to look pretty for YouTube people that she doesn't know. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Although I feel like I know some of you. Okay, so there's the highlight. I think you guys can see that. It looks pretty, doesn't it? And that's just wet and wild. Guys, these are like four bucks, so go get one of these if you want a really great cheap highlighter. And of course, I put it in my lips too. I am drinking tea, and this is staying on. It is, a, it's not transfer proof. So you can see it's it's coming off on my Hello Happiness mug here, but it's, it's not horrible either. It kind of dries down that, and then 
you can with glitter in it. But I like this one. This is the kind of mat that I can handle and wear all day. It doesn't feel like super drying to my lips. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to pop back on real quick. Just say hello. Tell you I now have a fully finished face with highlight, with brows. We're all set. Robert thought it looked shiny. <laughs> That was his comment. So I'll see you guys all. Don't forget to hit the like if you are starting to enjoy our Get Ready With Me's once a week. And um, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.